In this video, I'd like to take a look at how to tab or indent information in a cell in Microsoft Word. Now, this is something that I didn't know how to do for a long time myself, and I was really thrilled when I figured out how to do this. And the reason why I didn't know how to do it was if you click in a cell in Microsoft Word and I press the tab key, which I'll do now, what it does is it shifts over one cell to the right. As you can see here, as I'm pressing the tab key, it's shifting over each time. So if I want to indent this information, I can't just click to the left of Word and press tab because all that does is move me to the next cell. So this is why I had some difficulty trying to figure out how to do this for a while. Well, a nice way to do this is if I just click to the left of the Word and I press and hold the control key, and you should be able to do the command key in Mac, but Mac users, please verify that on your own. So I press and hold the control key, and then I press tab. Now that tab's over within the cell. So I'll do that for Excel as well. Press and hold control and press tab. Now I've been able to move information over within a cell without moving to the next cell. So suppose though that I really didn't want this tab this far over. Maybe I want it about halfway, let's say. So I can select this information, go home, and then if I go to paragraph, click on this expander, and then go down to tabs here. And here I'm going to change this to 0.25, which is half of the half inch default tab stop. So this should bring it about halfway back. Click OK, and there we go. So now I was able to successfully tab over a quarter of an inch. And now that tab is remembered, so if for some reason I wanted to tab this information over, I could do that as well by pressing Control tab. Now if you want to change that indent, once again just go to Paragraph, Tabs, and then change this value in here to whatever you want. And you can also use the arrows here to change it, although that will only change it by one-tenth of an inch at a time. And I did five one-hundredths there. I was more precise when I did a quarter inch. Okay, this concludes the video on tabbing or indenting information within a cell in Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching.